Hello, I'm here from University Advising Services at FGCU and I'm going to give you a brief overview of how to search for courses and how to register for courses here at FGCU. First we're going to cover how to search for classes starting on FGCU's homepage. Click on the Gulf Line link. Now, you're not going to log into Gulf Line just yet. First scroll down to the helpful resources and click course schedule. The course schedule, which should open in a new tab, is an effective tool for searching for courses at FGCU. And we're going to come back to this page. And next, you'll go back to the previous tab, scroll up, and log into Golfline. If you've not set up your two-factor authentication, please do so to be able to access Golfline. Once logged in, go to the Student tab, and then Registration. There are two different ways to register for classes through the Schedule Planner and the Add Drop Classes screen. Now you'll have access to a separate video covering the features of Schedule Planner, so we're going to focus on the Add Drop Classes screen. First, confirm you're in the right term. On the Add Drop screen, you will see a series of boxes at the bottom that you can enter CRNs or course reference numbers. To identify the CRNs that you want to add, we'll go back to the course schedule. And when searching for courses here, less is more in terms of filling in the search fields. Typically all you will use is the term, course prefix, and course number. In this case, we are looking at BSC 1086C, or Anatomy and Physiology 2. Here are the results for that course. The first column is the status. Green means the course has open seats. Red means it is full, and orange would refer to an online course. Max seats refers to the total seats in the class. Seats available refers to the currently open seats. Waitlist available refers to the currently remaining seats on the waitlist. Uh, not all courses will have a waitlist. The CRN I mentioned is the blue five-digit number that you'll take back to the add drop screen in Golfline. The, you'll see the course number, title, and credit hours. And the comment field can be important for some classes. Some courses have specific registration restrictions. For example, you might only be eligible for a course if you live in South Village Housing, or it might be restricted to a special population like Honors or FGCU Complete. If you try to register for a course and you get an error that you don't understand, the comment field may provide the answer. Your advisor can also help with course restrictions. Now the meet times column will tell you more about the course delivery method. Courses are offered online, in person, and a hybrid of the two where you'll have both online and in-person content. In the case of Anatomy and Physiology 2, the course is offered completely in person and in a hybrid version that's a combination of an in-person lab and an online lecture. Some classes will not have a required day and time like this, and those will make it easier for you to avoid schedule conflicts. The instructor's name will typically be available. Occasionally you will see staff. Some courses are taught by adjuncts and might not have been assigned to a particular instructor at the time that the course schedule was published. For part of term, most of our courses are full term 16 weeks, but there are a few courses that will be in the first half or second half of the semester in an eight-week term. These will be labeled as A or B term, respectively. And once you have your choice, you'll take that CRN back to the Add Drop screen. Type the CRN in the bottom box and hit Submit Changes. And you'll see under Status here that I'm web registered. That means I'm in the class. And now we're going to look at an example with a wait list. Microbiology has a section that is full but has waitlist seats available. So I'm going to try to add myself to the class. You'll see I have a registration add error because the course is closed. If I want to waitlist, there is an extra step. I need to select waitlisted under the action menu and submit changes again. And now you'll see under status that I'm waitlisted for the course. 
Now I'm going to web drop on the action menu here and hit submit changes. This has dropped me off the waitlist. Dropping from the waitlist is the same as dropping from a class. If you try to drop and there's only one class left, you'll see an error that directs you to contact the registrar's office. Other than dropping your last class, any other schedule changes can be made through this screen here in Golfline. Now there are a couple things I want to highlight about the waitlist process. FGC waitlist notifications only go to your Eagle email address. The system will not send any notifications to your personal email. You can only waitlist for one CRN at a time, and you can't waitlist for a course you are already registered for. Waitlist notifications come with a 24-hour time clock, so if you get that notification that gives you 24 hours to go into Golfline and add the class yourself. You will not be added automatically, you have to manually add the course. If you don't do anything within that 24-hour window, or you miss the email, you'll be dropped from the waitlist, and the next person in line will get a notification, and they'll start their own 24-hour window. Once the waitlist has been exhausted, anyone can register for the class. So if you're on an active waitlist, make sure you check your Eagle email at least once a day while you're waiting for that course to open up. Okay, going back to the course schedule. I want to highlight a couple other things that you might search for outside of just the prefix and number. And one of the things you might look for is course attribute. I will use CLWS as an example. This list will give you all of the courses that have the CLWS attribute and meet the college level writing skills graduation requirement. Uh, you might also look for one of the general education attributes. GEHM for humanities uh, and so on. Uh, another field you might use is status. You can use this to limit your source, your search to courses uh, that have open seats. So I'm going to perform a search here for all open sections of GEHM or humanities courses. You can see some examples of the open humanities courses. Now here I want to highlight some examples of where the comment field can be important. In Hume 2010 there are special topics that are identified in the comment. This section is called zombie culture and has a course restriction identified in the comment. It's only open to students living in South Village. So make sure that you pay attention to these comments before selecting a class. And now that we've gone through the basics for searching for courses and registering, you should be ready to register on your own. Once you've made all your selections and registered or waitlisted for your classes, you can check in with your advisor to make sure that you're on track for your major. University Advising Services is always here to provide assistance or answer any questions that you might have. Thank you for watching.